thousands of local jobs right at your fingertips at Kelloland Employment. Search, research area employers, even create job email alerts. Your job search just got easier with Kelloland Employment at Kelloland.com. can be very difficult in today's America if you are different or other. I realize that, I know that, I'm different, I am other. Coming up, how this transgender woman visiting South Dakota seeks to find common ground with others who may not understand the challenges of gender identity. Plus, she'll meet a Sioux Falls man who's profiled in our Hidden History special, which airs today. Alvani Hereri is making an impact in the community. Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Great Bear Ski Valley's chairlift reopens this morning after a malfunction Saturday for ski patrollers to evacuate people from the lift. Great Bear's general manager Dan Greider says the lift had been misloaded, causing a cable to fall off. That in turn caused the lift to stop. Ryder says Great Bear staff evacuated about 50 to 60 people from the lift, which took about an hour. Ryder spoke to Kelloland News Saturday about the repairs being made to the lift. Right now, we got the cable back on the shift wheel, and we're just testing the lift. Uh, we hope it will be open tomorrow at 9 a.m. Great Bear says no guests or staff were hurt and that the lift will indeed open at 9 o'clock this morning. Great Bear has been lobbying for a brand new ski lift to replace the current one that's been at the park since the early 1980s. Transformation Project, Sioux Falls Pride and other local groups sponsored an event Saturday to inform the public about gender identity and the transgender community in South Dakota. The event speaker was Ellie Krug, an attorney and author who's a transgender woman. Krug says she wanted to speak in South Dakota in response to health care proposals in the legislature, which would have affected the transgender community. There's a lot of um, we against them, a lot of placing people in categories and in groups. And as a result of that, we've lost contact and touch with each other. Krug considers herself an idealist and spreads a message about the innate empathy inside every person. Well, if you live in Sioux Falls, there's a strong likelihood that you've met Vani Hareri. Hareri has done a little bit of everything in his life. He's an author, singer, has served on diversity councils, human relations commissioner, commissions, and is a public speaker, and above all, a creator. Hareri says his drive comes from not seeing enough content created by people of color for people of color. For me, it's, it's less about lamenting the fact that it's not there, and for me, it's more about putting it there. And so it's not just us doing it, but it's also teaching other people how to do it. We sit down with Hareri for our Hidden History special honoring Black History Month. You can hear how Hareri is living for the future. Be sure to join Angela Kennecke and me as we host Hidden History this morning at 9 o'clock on MyUTV, and then at 10.30 tonight on Kelloland TV. Let's get a check of our forecast now with meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Well, good morning, Perry. Uh, new from the overnight hours, uh, we had a uh, uh, weather alert that was issued mainly for the northern Black Hills where a winter storm watch has been issued. It goes into effect Monday morning and then is set to expire Tuesday afternoon. Once again, you can see it there on the northern Black Hills. This is issued for, once again, heavy snow and then those strong gusty winds that will accompany uh, the snow as it moves in. But the forecast for today is concerned. The big picture passing low pressure system uh, south of Kelloland could bring some clouds to the uh, along the southern counties of uh, Kelloland. But otherwise, we're still looking at mostly sunny to sunny day. And this kind of pattern usually keeps the warmer than average uh, air in place. So even though it'll be a little bit cooler than yesterday, we're still going to be above average for this time of year. So your forecast temperatures today, 30s and 40s with mostly sunny to sunny skies. And then tonight, clouds will increase from west to east as air temperatures cool to the teens and 20s. And then for your Monday, snowfall will move in early in the day in western South Dakota and move from west to east throughout the day. Temperatures will be topping out in the 30s and the snow continues into Tuesday. And so does the cooling trend, which we'll talk about that and look at that seven day here in just a couple minutes. All right, thank you very much, Grant. Well, the Sioux Empire Home Show wraps up today at the Sioux Falls Convention Center and Arena. You can check out more than 230 home-related exhibits from 11 to 5. Admission is $7, free for children 12 and under. The South Dakota Symphony Orchestra Youth, or Symphony Youth Orchestra, along with the Philharmonia, Sinfonia, and Prelude Strings Groups, 
are in concert at the Brandon Valley Performing Arts Center. The music starts at 6 p.m. Enjoy an evening of music and trip South Dakota. The 32nd Annual Men's Choral Festival will be at 7 p.m. in the school gymnasium. The Sioux Falls RV, RV Expo Show and Sale features a wide range of leisure travel vehicles to check out in the Expo Building at the WH Lion Fairgrounds. Today's hours are from 10 to 4. Admission is free. The Journey Museum's Learning Forum features snapshots of Rapid City Railroading. The director of the South Dakota State Railroad Museum, Rick Mills' presentation, begins at 2 o'clock. Admission is $12. Films playing at the Wells Fargo Cynodome in the Washington Pavilion include Into America's Wild and Mysteries of the Unseen World. New movie releases playing at a theater near you include The Call of the Wild, rated PG, Impractical Jokers, the movie, and Brahms, The Boy 2, both rated PG-13. Grant. All right, here's another look at your forecast here. Once again, this is new from the overnight. A winter storm watch has been issued for the northern Black Hills. And as soon as this gets upgraded to a winter storm warning or winter weather advisory, uh, we'll let you know here in the storm center. Uh, this goes into effect Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, and it was issued for heavy snow and strong winds. As far as the infrared satellite is concerned, let's zoom out. There you can see the uh, white colors that are moving in Nebraska. That's the cloud layer. And so as the system passes us to the south, some of those clouds might be able to drift into southern Kelowland, but I think a lot of the area is still looking at mostly sunny, sunny skies because of the surface high pressure settling in uh, from the north. So this usually brings uh, lots of sunshine to the area. So we're still going to call it sunny to mostly sunny. But then as that low, uh, that high pressure kicks out of here, that's going to allow for the next winter storm to move in. So here's the broad brush timing of the bulk of the snow. It's going to move into western South Dakota uh, during the morning hours on Monday and the last through Monday, arriving in central South Dakota late in the afternoon or the early the evening hours and then last into the evening. Those of you in the east not going to see the snow arrive until Monday night, uh, giving us Tuesday a snowy and windy day. And then Tuesday night, the snow kicks out of here. Uh, we can't rule out some leftover early morning snow showers in the southeast, but once we get to the afternoon, the snow looks to be gone and will be left over with decreasing clouds for your Wednesday. As far as the risks of uh, snowfall, the greatest risk for one inch of snow is in western South Dakota. A uh, smaller risk for those of you here in the east. That's why we're kind of going with, you know, up, up to an inch of snow for everybody. It's kind of got broad brush estimates here for the plains of Kowaland is up to one to three inches of snow. No, it's the Black Hills and isolated areas in eastern South Dakota where the topography could enhance the snowfall. But the, uh, those of you in the east, you know, it's just, you know, up to three, some early evidence up to four, but I'm not quite sold on that just yet. So isolated up to three, for those of you in the plains of South Dakota. So once again, plains of South Dakota up to one to three, and then the Black Hills, they're going to be seeing the most. In fact, there's a slight risk for over six inches of snowfall. So the first draft of the snowfall forecast here, northern Black Hills, six to ten inches, but the plains of everywhere, just kind of a broad brush up to one to three inches. This will still need to be fine-tuned over the next uh, coming days. So stay plugged into the forecast, and we'll fine-tune this the best we can. The temperature trends for the work week. Mild air this weekend gets pushed out. Colder air settles in. So the middle of the week, you're going to notice the seven-day forecast. Highs drop to the 20s and 30s. But then the cold air moves out and more mild air moves in, warming back our highs to the 30s and 40s. And yes, even some 50s as we go into next weekend. So your forecast for today, lots of sunshine, 30s and 40s. And then tonight will cool to the uh, teens and 20s with clouds increasing from west to east. And then on Monday, snow in the west. Still seeing clouds increasing in the east and southeast. Temperatures, though, a lot more 30s and a few less 40s. And that cooling trend continues uh, until the middle of the week, where Sioux Falls cools down to the mid-20s there. Best chance for snow will be Tuesday into early, early Wednesday morning. And then sunshine heading into next weekend. Temperatures returning to the 40s. Aberdeen cooling down to the mid-20s there, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then returning to the 30s by the weekend. Best chance for snow will be Tuesday or Monday night into Tuesday. Central South Dakota, chance for snow late Monday into Tuesday, but Wednesday is looking dry. Temperatures cooling down to highs near 30 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday, but then returning to the 40s and 50s next weekend. Rapid City, best chance for snow will be Monday and Tuesday. There's some early evidence of some scattered or isolated snow showers around the Black Hills on Thursday, but otherwise nothing quite like we're going to see on Monday and Tuesday. Look at those temperatures, though, returning to the 40s to 50s next weekend with mostly sunny skies. Thanks for joining us for Kelloland On The Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.